This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So more is being said about the situation between Tamar, Tamar's backup singer. So Tamar Braxton's backup singer, James Wright Chanel, says he is at the dentist because his teeth is jacked up after Krishan allegedly assaulted him. Shout out to Live Bites. The live was uploaded to their page. Check out what he had to say. At this point, y'all, to stop thinking that everybody's mine. Um, yes, this happened to me, and everybody keeps asking, what's the reason? This happened to me for no reason. <clears throat> I was attacked for no reason. And they keep telling me don't get on live, but no. Like, all the assumptions and how people feel and what people think they know, I am at the end right now. I have to get my teeth fixed. My teeth have to be fixed, and that's what's happening right now. So don't get online saying what didn't happen, it didn't happen. And no, I'm not going to show my face. My face is beat. If you guys see my face, you can be pissed off. My face is, it's toe up. So right now, I have to get teeth fixed that someone damaged. I'm not going to show my face, but I will show that I'm at the dentist right now, right now, getting my teeth fixed. The anger of the, the anger or whatever the issue was, wasn't towards me. So that's why I'm saying I was attacked for no reason. Yes, I know I don't owe anyone anything, but enough with the blaming everybody else but the person that did this. I'm out of the hospital. Now I'm at the dentist, um, Nikki. I have to get teeth fixed. My teeth are jacked up. I just saying, oh, nothing happened, nothing happened. Oh, he's a clout chaser. I don't need nobody's clout, and I don't want clout from a negative, a negative source. I don't do negative, and negative is not on my page. I don't know why me, but I'm going to tell y'all this before I get off of here. Because I'm getting emotional. But I asked God, I said, why did this happen to me? And God said, it wasn't about you. He said, but I have to use you. He said, I have to, excuse me. He said, I have to use you. And when he said, I have to use you, all I could do was think of the story of Job. And I began to praise God in the midst of what was going on. So Blueface Mom has reacted to Tamar. She says Tamar knew exactly what Krishan was capable of when she invited her. She says Krishan could have knocked the rest of Tamar's nose clean off. Listen to this. Now this is no disrespect because I love the Braxton's and I respect them. The baby, she said she wish she would have hit her instead of him. Girl, no, you don't. She done knocked the rest of that nose clean the fuck off. She also said that Tamar was plain dumb and that she knew about Krishan and that she should have had security present. Carlissa is giving Krishan a Power Ranger pass. And she's confirming that Tamar used Krishan to help her following. Then Tommy Lee entered the chat and she's wondering what a lot of people are wondering. She's wondering if Krishan wasn't at Tamar's show, would all of this have gone viral? She doubled down in what she was saying with another comment. And she is saying she was being singled out and used by the neighborhood talk to further amp the situation because they made a whole post about her comment and she called out the blog owner and then went on Twitter and exposed him. I'm not going to play the video here. I can't anyway of how she exposed him, but it's all over Twitter if you are interested in seeing it. And her and Tamar went back and forth. She called Tamar a Muppet, told her not to flatter herself. Then she went off on Twitter and had some more to say. You can pause the video and read the tweets. Tamar came with a Bible verse. 
And I really don't know what this post is about here that she shared on her Instagram. She did react to Blueface Mom by saying she never met none of these people. She wanted to be left alone. She said she's only there because of her brother James and because he got hit in the face for being nice to a guest. Um, she's not referring to Krishan as a guest, no longer referring to her as a little sister, I guess. And she said she's here only to talk about James' injuries. She went on to Twitter saying that she's tired. Yes, she's tired. Talking about James being at the dentist, getting his new teeth. She wants people to leave her alone and saying she was only trying to show Krishan love. She did say she thinks that Krishan needs hugs and real people. Now, this comment was interesting. This person said, so you waited until Krishan deleted her social media to speak out. Seems like it's a lot of BS. Why was she there? Answer the question. We all want to know, was she there to perform or not? Because why would she be there? Y'all don't vibe. Y'all don't hang out. It's just weird. And that comment makes a lot of sense because why was she there? I mean, why would Krishan go there just to go on stage? I mean, it makes no sense. Does she have time like that? Why would she do that for somebody that's not even a good friend? I don't know. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. And then Tamar said that now she's ready to go uh, hang out with her boyfriend. She's done. She wants, she's tired. So Tamar's bestie had something to say. That was the guy that had come out with the allegations at first. And it appears that he's very happy that Tamar has now confirmed the assault and he said, y'all been eating me up for three days straight, shaking my head. Here is what I think happened. I think that DJ Sky and Krishan were under the impression that she was going there to perform. Krishan sees Tamar as a friend. So in her mind, no contracts are needed. And I don't even think that Krishan deals in contracts. I think it's all verbal for her, which I think she needs to change. And in my opinion, since Tamar is saying an assault did take place, and like I said, I'm saying this because Tamar is confirming an assault did take place, I think that Krishan and the best friend of Tamar got into it. Maybe something verbal. And I think that James somehow got in the middle of it. And people are asking, why is the best friend so hyped? Why is he so angry? Why is he saying that Krishan is going to jail even before the victim said anything? I think, I think the reason why he's so hyped is because he was involved somehow. And I think he was right there when everything went down. I think he was probably a witness to it. And like I said, somehow was involved. Like I said, maybe Krishan and him were talking back and forth arguing maybe I don't know but that is just my theory that is just my opinion what I'm saying is not fact I repeat it is not fact it's just a theory what do you guys think about that again I want to put it out there and I want to make this very clear I do not condone people putting their hands on other people I believe in using our words again I do not condone people putting hands on each other. I'm just wondering why Tamara waited so long to make a statement. Um, I still want to know what caused the assault, what led up to this. And we all saw that her friend and employee was on Instagram live begging for cash apps. And cash at me because I missed my job today. So somebody owe me. Y'all don't. But let me put my cash app because I need um chat. I'm an independent contractor. I need, um, I need cash apps. I, I missed out on work today. Cash app is hit. Sorry. Hello? What happened? I still got jokes. Let me tell you what ain't nobody going to do. Ain't nobody going to take my joy. Ain't nobody going to take my praise. Ain't nobody going to take my worship. It, I just did it, Troy. Ain't nobody going to take my worship. And let me tell you the crazy thing in this whole situation. Y'all should see my fucking face. And I still got joy.
I want to know why this man had to go on Instagram Live and beg for cash apps. Why didn't Tamar pay him for his missed day of work? Because she did say that they are running a professional program over there. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, guys. And another reminder, please leave me your comments under this video. Please do not come over to my Instagram with your comments. I'm not going to go back and forth with people in my Instagram messages. Hey, everybody. I look crazy. Let me take this off. <laughs> not that my headband looks any better, but um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened um, to him. And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, and, and it was by Krishan, but, um, there was a lot of events that I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know, um, the reason why I decided to say something, um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends and we put this all together for the fans. Um, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't, I don't need that. Like my circle is this small, you know, I, um, don't have to sell tickets for, you know, like, oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this. That other, this show has been sold out for a month. Um, I didn't have an opening act. I knew I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited. Someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing. Because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry. I have a filter. I watched. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.